Under the sprawling metropolis of Bakersfield lies the technological magnificence of Vault 12, built with every amenity in mind for the prospective vault dweller. Vault 12 was given the Pressed Vault Suit Award for attention to preparedness. Buried far underground, the protection that vault dwellers will receive will be unprecedented. Much like all other vaults, Vault 12 has been fitted with the newest in vault water purification systems, able to take even the waste located in the sewers of Bakersfield. This system is able to deliver over 15,000 gallons of pure, refreshing drinking water every day. Welcome to the Fallout Lorecast mini episode about Vault 12. I am your host, Tom, or Robots. Welcome back again, Vault Dwellers. I'm glad you guys are tuning back in for another mini-sode. This mini-sode is about, about Vault 12. And from that reading, in, from a holotape in Fallout 1, it seems like it was idyllic. Idyllic? Idyllic? I don't, I don't know how words work. Uh, it was located in California and... The idea here is that, you know, some of the vaults have malfunctions and this one was prepared with all the things you would ever need, except for a door that doesn't close right. According to the wiki on fallout.gamepedia.com, that the vault was constructed under the sprawling metropolis of Bakersfield and built with every amenity in mind for the prospective vault dweller. Uh, that comes from the clip that I read at the beginning of the show. Now, this was supposed to be a vault that was set up for for people who just wanted to double check everything and make sure everything was absolutely right. But then it goes on to explain that the vault's true purpose, however, was to study the effects of radiation on the residents. To ensure this, Vault Tech designed the vault door not to close. On October 23rd, 2077, the populace of Bakersfield learned that the other vaults had been sealed. In desperation, they took to their local shelter, forcing their way in to protect themselves and their families. The door worked as designed. The radiation flooded in. Those whom survived suffered from ghoulification. The people in this vault who had prepared for everything else suffered the effects of radiation and probably due to some... I, I don't know if uh, my su- my assumption here and I, and listen to some of these other shows is that the FEV, the forced evolution virus, it must have there must have been a version of it that got out among the population. And that has something to do with the ghoulification of the populace. Otherwise, I'm not sure why everyone who was irradiated turned in, into ghouls in the same way. That doesn't that doesn't quite make sense. There needs to be something underneath that. In one of the previous shows, I even went up and dug information about uh, what happens in the real world when you get radiation poisoning or whatever. And mutations like this are not that common. Usually you die or you suffer and then you die. But in this situation, everybody was turned into ghouls. Now it goes on to explain that in the summer of 2083, the survivors would leave the shelter. Those that chose to stay founded the city of Necropolis. (laughs) necropolis probably because they looked like a bunch of undead zombies by the spring of 2084 set took control of necropolis wrestling control from the original overseer set is a person he not wanting to be killed was driven north and lost to history for the next 73 years set would lead the city unmolested from outside parties instead internal political strife caused some to leave while a much more peaceful group was forced to take shelter underground. Despite Set's disgust for the group, he reluctantly sent them whatever water they needed, fearful that he would not have enough people to defend the city if it was ever needed. Now, there's not much else that we know specifically about the vault other than the door didn't seal, and there are, there's speculation as to why everyone would have turned into, into ghouls. If you know more about how all of that stuff comes together, uh, please write in and let me know, falloutlorecast at gmail.com. Now, we do know a lot more about Necropolis specifically, and that's a much larger topic that I'm not going to go to in, in a minisode. That could be its own episode. It could also be a spoiler to some of the uh, later game elements and events of the original Fallout, Fallout 1. Um, but 
I just want to leave you with this idea of, can you imagine <laughs> going to a vault and I mean, not to mention having things not work the way they were supposed to, or finding that you out that you're part of an experiment, but specifically finding out that they set the door to not close properly. That seems like one of the most frustrating things you could, you could possibly do to a group of individuals who probably are OCD and want everything exactly in the right place. And then on top of it, those individuals turn into ghouls and live this elongated lifespan of whoever knows how long as these walking zombies. Can you imagine going through that? Can you imagine being that kind of person and having to deal with the ramifications of that situation? I would imagine that you'd be pretty grumpy. If you like this video, then why not check out this other one and continue learning more about Fallout? The Fallout Lorecast was brought to you by our patrons. A huge shout out to them for their support. Head over to patreon.com slash falloutlorecast and take a look at all the cool things you can get for supporting this channel. Also, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and if you want over 300 episodes of just the audio of this podcast, then check out the Fallout Lorecast on Spotify or Apple or anywhere else.